colony established. Okay, colony finished. Excellent. This is Defana. And sadly, that isn't within my territory. You can tell if a system is within your territories if that hexagon above it or below it, or to the side of it, is within your colour basically. And that one isn't, because it's actually a 3D map. As you can see there. Right, so I need to grow my borders a bit before I get all of those minerals, access to them. In the meantime, however, though, we now have the ability to exploit this arid planet. So the uh, kitty cats here are not very good at energy extraction, no Sally slaves. So, and there isn't a lot of minerals here either, really. So, yeah, they're not well suited to this planet at all. Maybe I should have done my starting population here, actually. Um, let's... I do have a lot of influence now. I don't really... want to uh, take one of these off, but I feel as if I have to. Yeah, I think I should have used them on that world. Uh, didn't really take into account what was on it. So, yeah, I will resettle those. So to do this, what you do, click on Resettle, drag whoever you want across to the new world, and, yeah, do that if you have enough influence. Okay, so a bit less science, which is a problem, to say the least. And next planet I settle, I'm definitely using that population. Uh, this one... You don't get unity at this point for your starting thing. Um, oh, actually... Yeah, it's not a great situation. This, so where do I want this long term anyway? Because on the side it's not great. You get better rewards if it's in the middle. But sticking mm -hmm. next to science isn't a good idea. So I think I am going to have to stick it on the side long term. Yeah, there's a lot of science on this world actually. There isn't a good place for this at all. Um, I have that there for the time being. I'll leave it like that. Oh, Mr. Kitty Cat. Let's make a mine there. Oh, I know what I could do. Yeah, I can make uh, one of those buildings here. That's a good idea. Okay, I'm going to make a temple here, I think. I've just about got enough minerals. It's going to be useful. I'll stick them on that in a minute. I think I'll stick the main planetary base on that resource, which is a waste of science, but I've got that next to it. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that. It's not a good place there at all for it. Um, let's get going again anyway. Hope I haven't forgotten something. The temple will get the unity up, get more of these. There is a downside in conquering primitives, actually. The more, well, upset people you have, I think it increases the unity cost. I can't remember the exact calculations, but you most, yeah, conquering primitives is usually a good idea, in my opinion, for a variety of reasons. Get more territory, get an extra planet, you get a species you can manipulate later on. Yeah, there's tons of good reasons. Alright. Uh, well, there's a lot I'm forgetting about, which I mentioned in my guide, I think. Early game guide previously. Right, minerals going up, hopefully. Pirates haven't come back for a while. Which is kind of good. Kind of maybe not good. I would like to get it resolved. Um, right, so we found something there. Let's... and I luckily didn't get attacked. Let's get this scientist down to here. I may be able to do these without getting killed. It's risky to say the least though. Okay. Oh, that guy got done, did he? Um, let's put that there, actually, and let's make a uh, mining network there. Definitely need more minerals. Oh, and here, uh, what I should have done is make a mining network there, I think, rather than that first. I 
Well, actually, I could only make a basic mine here. Yeah, well. Okay. Is that moving? Oh, it is. Okay. Which may give me an opportunity, may get me in trouble. Moving around, actually colonizing this system, probably not a great idea. Okay, let's bring that over there. Play it safe. That was that. No temples down, let's move that across. More unity. I like to put growing population on blank tiles as well. The reason why I do that is because you actually get a banner pop up when they're done that way. If you leave them on a resource, you don't get it. And uh, knowing when they're done is useful because then you can decide the best tile for them uh, at that point. Okay. No sign of power. Oh, what's. Th oh, it's still there. Okay, good. Right, let's go for it. We just found the primitives on the Mozzi. Okay, hopefully they're going to be useful for me. Uh, I'd like to see very strong or resilient ones, both together, preferably for a warrior class. These guys, uh, that would be, that's good actually. That's really bad because I want to reset till my population. They're intelligent, that's going to be useless as a slave. That's good, but my pearls are going to be better long term for industry, so they're not very useful at all. They're pretty backwards they would make okay livestock but it, yeah um, I'm tempted to conquer them I'm not sure if I'm going to it's a long way away and these days you actually have to pay influence to invade um, I think I will make a uh, army just to see the cost so let's Use the Rec Falar because they're actually better in combat because they're strong than my starting species. With Psionics, you can make a case actually t for having a very good um, army type starting race if you're going it, I believe. Because you can have all Psionic bonuses for your uh, main population then. But yeah, I would either go similar to what I've done or go for an army style. Armies aren't that important though, really. Uh, that's, let's get surveying all of these planets over here. And up there. Okay, I'll do for now. What's that? Oh, pirates are back. It didn't tell me, I think. That's bad. Let's group those up. I probably should have moved it to there, actually. Uh, hopefully we can get there in time before they destroy that. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to. So, um, maybe messed up a tiny bit there. I actually could do with more food at the moment. That's a problem. How am I going to get that? Um, there's a tile I can clear there. And I will. My starting governor I should mention a bit about as well. This governor, its skill, it gives a minus to building cost and building speed. So what you should be doing with these governors actually is, before you make anything, is move the governor to where you're making something to get the reduction off it, the buildings. The problem is it takes a ton of micromanagement if you do do that, if you're constantly coming here, moving them around. So I don't like these those governors at all. I'm not going to be doing that because it's just too much micro involved. I'll just keep them on a... Um, sector eventually if when I do hire those guys right uh, let's get going oh they built an outpost there um, I'm still waiting on getting that before oh, one month away yeah I might make an outpost there in a second grab that 
Uh, where is this? Yeah, let's go and do it. Bring this down here now. Then. Let's block them in. It's probably be 150. I've certainly got enough at the moment. Right. Research complete. Construction complete. Okay, Dafana Prime surface queue finished. So that was the minerals, wasn't it? Yep. Uh, growth speed's done. Wow. Some good stuff here. Terraforming, which is going to be absolutely crucial, but I don't really need it yet. So maybe I can hold off. Border range, very, very useful. And a tile blocker, which I probably don't really need quite yet either. So I'm going to go for border range here, and I really hope this turns up soon again. I can increase the chance by getting a new world scientist, which isn't available yet. Um, terraforming, probably going to cost like in the thousands of energy, so I certainly don't have it yet. You can reduce it though, the cost by a, by a variety of ways. Uh, I'm going to get Reach for the Stars now then. So let's pick that. And that should mean this is a lot cheaper, so it's going to be 109. So it's actually even cheaper than I thought. I thought it was supposed to have it, and that's 91. Yeah, so I do there. I should get that within territory. Um, hopefully, their borders won't grow over it at some point. But if I put it there, I got more chance of getting that and that, I think. So, yeah, let's do that. Uh, when I've got enough minerals, which I don't. The scientist. Oh, did I leave them? <sighs> that was a bad idea, wasn't it? I forgot all about that. Uh, let's get this out. Get it over to here. Where is Fleet 2? Are they attacking the pirates? Ooh, we might save it. Oh, you know what? I forgot to hire a general. Which is probably too late to stick it on now, so... Um, we won't need it. Not general, admiral. I always get them mixed up. Uh, Situation log didn't updated. lose a ship, so that was lucky. Uh, excellent. Recruitment done as well. Right, let's get that back to repair. Right. Army is done. Let's check this out then. So if I were to invade the primitives, it would currently cost me 232 influence, which is way too much. But if I build an outpost there, it should reduce it because it's nearer then. So... How many um, armies do they have as well? Probably not many. So in the Bronze Age, one would probably be enough. Uh, in fact, let's bring it down. So what were they? What planet type? Oh, excellent. So that's a desert world. I will be able to colonize that, actually. And I may just, yeah. since they're not very good, just eradicate their population in one fashion or another. And actually move my guys in instead. I think that's a better idea. Tile block. I still need to get food from somewhere. So how am I going to do that? There's no food here. Oh, got that done now. So uh, let's move this kitty cat over to there and make a hydroponic. That guy got done. Good. Um, right, let's get going again, I think. So, pirates are dealt with, uh, I need to do that anomaly, building that there, right, things going alright. There's only two population on, if, under certain circumstances, I would do the Livestock Xenophage at the moment, even though it would annoy the hell out of these. But I think, yeah, I'm just going to displace those guys. I could wipe them out. The quickest way to do it is it takes five years, but you get a negative for genocide with every empire you know just about. 
and maybe I don't want to quite annoy them yet. Um, I'm actually... I'll actually, after I've repaired, I'll send a ship down there to keep an eye on how big their fleet is. Research and complete. once my minerals start finally getting up, I'll build a fleet to attack them once they start colonizing something, I think. Right, the assist one got in. That means I can get better scientists. Level them up quicker. Let's... That's very nice, and I certainly get it better, arguably, but I want deflectors, I think. Go for that. I'm not going to go for the naked corvette strategy, so... Yeah. If I had, like, 400 naval capacity or something at that point, where it's huge, then I think it's a good idea, perhaps, but at this point, probably not. Uh, so, normally... Although I can do it at this point, I think there's more important things to be done, mm -hmm. so I'll wait. Oh, Constructor got down here. I'm saving up for 200. Which, uh, oh, I still need to get that mineral, but I'll get the station done first. I think it's the priority. One more month. Okay. Uh, oops. Mm -hmm. Let's come in here, let's get that done. So it costs three maintenance and one in influence. Right, not too bad. Okay, I actually had to stop recording for the day at this point, so I'm now recording a day later. There's a few uh, small corrections and things I should probably mention. Uh, that's a pulsar, not a black hole like that, which is a very tiny thing to mention, but I guess I will. Uh, in terms of research, I realized I've had the chance to watch back the videos I've made so far, about two and a half videos, I think. And, um, yeah, I had a chance to actually move that over to there when I was researching a biology tech, which uh, that was a mistake not to do. I would have got an extra 10% on that amount, which isn't much, of course, but, uh, yeah, I should have done that. Uh, in terms of this fleet as well, I haven't taken out the pirate base yet, so I definitely need to find it first of all. Uh, let's actually take that off. I don't, uh... Oh no, it's that one I want to take off, I think. I'll have them group up the fleet when I make them. Uh, that's going to be invading as soon as that is built. And in terms of the Empire name as well... Uh, that's not really the Empire's name, although I think I said it at some point. The Empire's name is the Jannar Interstellar Harmonious Ascendant Dominion, and that's the acronym on my ships there. Right, let's get going again anyway then. So this is almost repaired, I believe. And yeah, I should be able to now get it back out. There's some debris there which I need to pick up in a bit, but I've got a while before I need to do it. Um, I don't know where this pirate base is. I think I'll go down there and then I'll come back over there. It's probably over there, but I guess I'll move down there just in case. Um, that's your sensor range there, so that's as far as I can see. Construction okay. complete. Uh, that's cradle. What was I making? I oh, the food down there. I moved those over as well because they were not in the best of positions for when they grow. Uh, this guy, I think I've done all the surveying with that. Let's go and get the. Debris then up over here. Right, and that's supposedly the quick route round, which, um, take your word for it. Uh, where's the other science ship then? Oh, they're both down here, eh? Okay, uh, right. Any sign of pirates? Not yet. Ah, here we go. So, that's a pirate base, and I don't think I need an admiral, so... Uh, let's just try and wipe it out with that. I think it does have a gun on it. What am I saving up my production for now? I need... Well, once that's made the station, I need to make a mineral base. Hostile so station that. engaged. Other than that, I'm not really sure. What minerals, really, because that's a terrible amount still. Okay, the transport is a reach there, but that isn't done yet. I'm going to be invading as soon as uh, I can, I think, there. I need a bit of influence to then move Populous over to the new planet. Should get a reward 
Situation log updated. Uh, 80 minerals and 50 NHG. Not too much because it's very early game. If I had done that later on, I would have got a bigger reward. But uh, yeah, we kind of need minerals now. So uh, let's get this back to repair, and then I'll start splitting up the ships. I think. So there's some debris I need to do there. All right. Colonizing that. Right, there's a scientist finished. Right, so I think I've looked at all of these planets and, um, in regards of uh, pre sentience, I think there may be anomalies on the pre sentient worlds. I had them in the last Let's Play I did, but they're so rare I actually haven't had any since then when I've played. So I think I'm hoping that uh, that world might have them on it because it did have an anomaly on it. Uh, this scientist, I need to, I think to get to level 4 though before I can definitely successfully do the anomaly. Uh, this scientist then, uh, let's get it down to here and survey there because I'm going to be taking that pretty soon. Hopefully. Construction complete. Okay, so the outpost is done and yeah, both of those are within influence. Potentially they could push that back to there, but it's unlikely. Definitely need to get over here and survey then. This constructor ship is job done. Let's get it back up to here and remake this, which was sadly killed, destroyed by the pirates. So I'm now costing myself a wedding maintenance, but not the end of the world. Uh, so this cost should now be reduced. 106. And uh, how many armies do they have? Just one. Which, considering the Bronze Age and we're in the Space Age, shouldn't be an issue. So let's land armies. Yes. Now, actually, taking out these primitives isn't going to go down well with these guys. One of the faction requests later on actually requires you to actually have some primitives on the map. So I won't want to kill all of them and it's... Uh, yeah, there's bound to be more than one, so I'm not going to worry about killing this one at the moment. This is going to be very useful at Desert Planet, so... Let's, uh... Hope to win, then. Yeah, and as you can see, it's not much of an issue. Enemy planet secured. Okay, subjugating primitives. Our armies have successfully invaded and subdued the primitive forces on Vilvayi. The locals have given up all attempts at fighting back, and we have now subsume their civilization into our empire. Although backwards as they are, it may take some time for the natives to become fully productive members of Jinnah Interstellar Harmonious Ascendant Dominion Society. The Xenos are no match for us. So they actually get stellar shock for a number of years based on how primitive they are. So that's what a lot of days, put it that way. Is that 10 years? If my math is anywhere near good. I don't think it's 100. I hope it's not. Uh, right, so... Question is now, what the hell do I do with them? They're not very good. So I actually want to move Populous over. Um, there is a lot of minerals and food here, so... I'm going to move one of these guys over. I'm going to move that one. Let's resettle and yeah, there it is. We'll move him onto that tile. I do want one of that populous as well, but maybe I'll wait a tiny bit for that because uh, I have more of those than these. Let's resettle. Okay. I should probably check out my species rights now. Oh, and uh, also, let's check this out. So, conquering those primitives, yeah, annex primitives, minus 50 basically. Uh, that's going out very slowly as well, so I've really annoyed these. They may, well, rival me because of that at some stage. And that's an issue. 
Uh, let's stick that to up here, I guess. Right. Um, what next? So that's there. Now, there will be unrest here, probably, but it's only at 50 where it causes a big issue. What do I do with these? I think, yeah, because of rubbish, I should either displace them, which, uh, if we go to the right, displacement doesn't cause any issues. Now, sadly, it doesn't show the purge options available until you actually select it. This is normal slavery ones, which um, probably, yeah, the food and mineral ones, that's the best one. Domestic servitude's kind of your pets, populace, battle thralls for your soldiers, livestock for crappy populace, basically, or delicious populace. So, if I make them undesirable, so I can displace them and effectively get rid of them, displacing them won't uh, cause any uh, negatives to diplomacy, whatever empires, but it takes a long time, but it's only two of them, so it won't, oh, three maybe, but it won't take as long because of this. So I think I'll do that, but later on, I think extermination is the one that does it in five years time, but it causes a huge amount of uh, problems with other empires if you're caught doing it. Um, so I'll just do that for the time being. I'm a bit tempted to maybe make them as livestock now, but it'll probably be only about six extra food, so it's not really all that amazingly valuable anyway. Uh, let's do that there. Okay. Let's... And that shouldn't have done anything. Right, let's get going again now. We've got quite a few places to survey now. Right, I'm thinking of sticking an outpost there. That may get a lot of territory. Uh, right, let's get Corvette out of here. And I'm going to send that down... Onto the homeworld to spy on them, see how big their fleet is. Um, I think at this point I may not explore looking for more primitives. I'm just gonna possibly try and build up to kill these guys. And I may actually exterminate these guys because they're not that useful. And if I can do that before finding another empire, it won't cause many diplomatic hits. Uh, killing. Well, say it's like 5 per populace and it's got about 10 populace, that's 50 hits, so uh, yeah, I'd rather avoid a 50 diplomatic hit with every empire, no, put it that way. But, yeah, we'll see. Okay, what's going on here? They've blocked access, which isn't too surprising because of our poor relations. Right, so that constructor's missing in action, he'll probably come back here at that date. Okay. There's a route around there though. And because we're hyperwarp now, he can't get through there because the uh, borders are closed. Um, I don't think I have to... Uh, maybe I do. Yeah, okay, I'm going to close the borders as well. Let's make sure of it. Not sure if I needed to do that or not. Right, so we... Oh, that's a problem. I can't move there now and check his fleet size. So, yeah, that's a bit of an issue. Let's group that up. But uh, to be honest, at this stage, we wouldn't exactly get much information. It's probably very similar to mine. I mean, you can kind of figure it out a tiny bit from that, but not really. Okay. Right, we've got a lot of minerals. I would like to colonize again. But, uh, well, what about that place? 34, that's cheap. What I can even do there. That's within my territory already. Uh, the problem with colonizing the tan is the unity issues and sector issues, but, um,. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's a downside in doing so, really. Maybe I'll wait. I'll wait a tiny bit. Let's get some of these mineral stations on the go. 
I might make another constructor coming out if I find a ton of minerals. Oh, that was getting deadly, wasn't it? Maybe even do another scientist action. Nothing good in there. Okay, so a bit of a quiet period. That's building up still. Is my constructor back? Yes, it is. Let's get it uh, over to here then. That's 90 spent. Uh, right. I think. Yeah, I guess I'll make a colony ship. Uh, let's get the Janar. I do actually need more of that populace, definitely, to move on to places. Uh, like that. Okay. Anomaly found. Oh, something I've forgotten is to stick a shelter here somewhere. So, where do I want it long term? In the center, to get the most out of it. Uh, I should probably mention a bit about this. So, the administration center, eventually you get adjacency bonuses to mineral, food, and energy. So, for that reason, you want those types of tiles next to the uh, capital, basically. When it's upgraded, the initial shelter doesn't give any bonuses, though, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, it's best now placed on energy, since it gives energy and unity. And you want it in center, because if you put it on the side, well, you obviously can't get an adjacency bonus on the side to, uh, well, that right-hand bit, if you put it there, for instance. Uh, so out of these, there's no energy in the middle. That's on the side, so there's eight tiles here that uh, viable-ish. Science yeah. doesn't count f towards the JC bonus, so you don't want to stick it next to that, preferably. So I'm thinking mm. there or yeah. there for the capital. Um, let's stick it yeah. there, the shelter then. Which yeah. I lose a mineral at the moment, but is there an energy tile at all on this that I can do? Because it would be the best tile at the moment, but not long term. I don't think there is, so I'll put it there, <laughs> some under the tile blockers, okay, I think that might give a tiny bit of ethics attraction, so it's uh, well worth making.